I want to take you out of Westminster and place you in Hammersmith. Specifically, Hammersmith Pumping Station. <laughs> Two is a significant number for this site, as it is the second most westerly site on the Tideway scheme, and is the second largest discharge of raw sewage water into the River Thames. As B&B JV will take 51 discharges a year and reduce this to just three. And this is because of the maintenance that is still required on the infrastructure. To give you a better idea of how this looks and the scope of works we'll be doing, you can see the dominoes monitoring the water coming into an inlet channel. They will then mix into an intersection chamber, push water through a culvert and fall 33 metres down a 290 metre tunnel to meet the main tideway tunnel. This is the full scope of works that we're carrying out, but I want to focus on the yellow, the inlet channel. <laughs> this will remain an active sewer, so operatives will have to work in it as flows come in and out, and we'll have temporary weirs in place, but we needed to get an idea of the flows coming into it so that we knew that they were safe. And we, so we looked at the sewers that fed the pumping station, and this could be modelled like this. <laughs> but this was an important task, as we were able to identify 16 weirs of significance that, if monitored, will allow us to gain a better understanding of the waters that come into the station. And so, in another model, you'll see in a low flow, just to give you a better idea of what happens at those 16 weirs, the flow comes in, it fills the foul sewer, but does not spill over the weir, so the men can work in the inlet channel. However, if there's high rainfall or the foul sewer is quite full, it will breach the weir, pass down the stormwater sewer towards the pumping station. At this point, we need to get men out. So we need to preempt this, and how do we do that? Well, we can place a pressure sensor at the bottom of the foul sewer and an ultrasonic sensor at the top. In doing this, we can combine the data into a system called ICM Live, and with Met Office data, we'll know exactly when this is going to happen. It isn't cheap, but it will save 36 weeks on our programme and will also make sure that no fatalities occur on the job.